McAfee. They love their Mountaineers in Morgantown and in a place known for yan dogs and pepperoni rolls, probably some liquid refreshments. The Mountaineer faithful ready to go here in Morgantown. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Virginia Tech Hokies, taking on a team from the Big 12, the West Virginia Mountaineers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Mountaineers offense will get the first crack at it here. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Pollock. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Quarterback empties his backfield. Looking for a man. It's Green. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. And the Mountaineers will snap it on first and 10. They go to the ground. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know David coming into this game. Pulls it in inside the 10. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. And how about that? A lot of coaches talk about being aggressive and we're going to take shots, but then they get conservative in the game. But first drive coming out, showing this defense, we are not afraid to throw the ball deep. Might keep that deep. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, West Virginia. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. So that scoring drive took only six plays and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Virginia Tech Hokies offense will try to get something going with their first possession. And what a matchup between these two guys. I know they'll never go head-to-head, -head, but David, you know they're trying to one-up each other. No, oh, this is head-to-head, -head, and I'm watching everything you do, and I'm going to try to do it better. So I'm interested to see if anybody makes some mistakes and presses a little bit knowing that dude's on the other side of the field. You're right, David, because you know these guys are competitors, right? This is going to feel like a video game. The scoreboard is going to be lit up. They'll go to the counter. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Awesome job by the defense. Not only getting a fast quarterback on the ground, but understanding what he wants to do. He can take off. I got to make sure I got good pursuit angles, and I got to make sure I build rails. I can't let him outside. I got to keep him in the pocket. He tries to get outside. They get the sack and get the huge loss on that run. Very little will make a crowd hold his breath like a punt return, and he draws them to their feet on that one. The offense starts with a short field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And they'll get him down, but boy, did he put some dudes in the spin side. My goodness. And a great job on the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job 
getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Mountaineer! Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. And they add the extra point to finish the drive. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going. And the ball's free in the backfield. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Man, and it was just the impact of the hit that dislodged the football from the ball carry. It was a heat-seeking missile coming in there, and he knocked that thing loose. Fires left. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Mountaineer. Offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of a great field position. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. They get you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And you knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the move, it's Fox. Slips through the line. Wide open, and it's a foot race. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, West Virginia. That return man saw daylight the instant the ball touched his hands, and he darted to it and took it to the house. And, Reese, I think it's one of the hardest things to do in football, to catch the ball as all these guys are flying around you, and you got to take it, make a miss, try to find spaces and creases that aren't there. Great job making a huge play. Special teams and punt returns coming up big. The kickoff team is out there, and their number one job is to make sure one special team's touchdown isn't answered with another one. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee, and they'll bring it to the 25. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. Maybe they learned something from their opening script of plays, David, but other than that, this has been an abject disaster. Man, I think they learned what not to do. I mean, this has been an abject disaster. They haven't done anything right. Offense, defense, Palmer, this one's ugly, and it's still early. Yeah, I'd normally say, well, it's first quarter, just don't worry about it, there's time, but worry. this is the worst start you possibly could have had. So they need to score a touchdown right here. He'll pull it on the read. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. And the Hokies will send out the punt unit. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. A 
and see if they can put together a drive starting from their own 28. The give to the tailback. At the 40, there he goes. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this first offense. Well, he was able to gash him on that play. You just give this guy one inch, one little crease. He puts his foot in the ground, and he gets north fast. Trying to get to it. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Power football with the run. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and West Virginia has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chain. The Mountaineers trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Use the play fake, now to throw. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. I mean, the way this team has dominated this game, impressive to say the least. And it's cool now because you're kicking the crud of them so bad, you start to put the backups in and all them get to get juice and get to get some playing time, get some feel good. And the other side, well, they're just taking it right to the house. And they tack on the extra point for a 35-0 lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Tootin. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, Dave, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Weaves his way ahead and gets five out to the 18-yard line. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but... It's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Looking to throw, it's Drones. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. The Hokies line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll bring it back. It's Fox. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play call. And he breaks into the open. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Mountaineers. And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear with his speed, he was gone. He'll bring it out. It's Thomas. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. First down here from the offense. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. 
That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. He's going to throw deep right side. And that ball is picked off. Taking it the other way. He'll finally go out of bounds, but he was showing off all the skills after that interception. Well, what a game-changing play by this defense. A nice job. You got him backed up in their own territory coming out. Now you force the turnover, set your offense up with some great scoring field position. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. And a golden opportunity slips away from the defense there. That's one he'd love to have back. He knows he should have come away with the interception there in the red zone. The run from the shotgun. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to power their way ahead. And the Mountaineers get enough for the first down. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front, great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. And he'll finish the run at the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Coming out with it, it's Tootin. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That, that's a part of it. Like, if you're going to be a great player, you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Quarterback on the keeper. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem, the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. The give out of the gun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. Always nice to have that security blanket of the tight end. And it's nice to have a tight end that can line up in different areas of the field, too. It's not always going to be in a three-point stance. He can sometimes be in the backfield. You could flex him out into the slot. They might even try to put this guy out at wide receiver in the split end position and see what he can do there, because this guy is a weapon. 
Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chances. The Mountaineers have it with a first and ten. Back to pass. It's green. Fires into the end zone. He was open. He had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Still looking on the move. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Mountaineer. Man, oh, man, what a day. His third touchdown rushing. Showing you he's got a little bit of everything. And adding those stats. And all you fantasy football guys, if you have my man at running back, it's a good day. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. Fielded in the end zone. It's Thomas. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with a young fellow on the sideline. Be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin. And the Mountaineers will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Tootin. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. Nothing went right in that first half in the first order of business here. Try not to be embarrassed any further. But the comeback is possible. Remember 2006, Michigan State down 35 to Northwestern at halftime? They somehow came back and won the game. But it all starts on one play, and that has to happen here on this first drive for the offense. Yeah, the first possession, because your, your possessions, you're only going to get so many possessions, and you've got to score on every single one of them. Offense, defense, special teams have to play out of their mind, but they have to believe. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Looking for a man. It's Drones. Right down the middle. He just missed the target on that one. Got to put it on his body. And the Hokies will call on their punt team. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Fair catch. Called for and made. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now in the center field. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Running back searching for a hole. 
Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Trying to turn the corner on the left. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Big third down conversion, getting the ball to your running back, and he does the rest. This guy, I think, will get a lot more touches. And you want to know why he's on the field on third down? Because he can block. Oh, it's loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Offense getting set for first down. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, nice job on this defense, stringing it out towards the sideline. And when I do that, man, all my body's got to rally to the football. we got to run to the football really, really hard from inside out. Nice job by the defense getting to the quarterback and making the play. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Wants to throw. It's drones. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. The Hokies will punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll call for the fair catch here. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. They put it on the ground last time. They had it got to take care of it this time, David. And I think you've got to put it in context. A lot of times, fumbles are just luck. You just got to move on, give him the football again, Jesse, and not worry about it. I think that's a good point there, David. Get him the ball again to help him play the next play and know that he's okay. Because when that guy's playing well, this offense is on fire. He gets it all the way out to the 19-yard line. They pick up of six. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Keeps the legs moving. Just gets it to the 28 pickup of one. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. In their own territory, no problem. Fourth and inches, and they'll go for it. They'll try to pick up the first. The Mountaineers get it past the sticks. No mystery there. Fourth and inches, handed off to drive off. Virginia. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Use the play fake now to throw. Unloads to the right. A strike downfield. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. Man, this first offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He'll pull it down and run. At the 35, he's open. This senior quarterback moving the chains and picking up a first down for his team. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there. Understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. And these RPOs always put the defense in a bind. But listen, you give up the run, they get a short little gain. No harm, no foul. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Oh, the quick spin move. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. And the Mountaineers will have it first and ten. Trying to run. It's white. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Now on second down. 
Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. And they can't make the connection. And three quarters are in the book as we head to the fourth. Guys, that's the end of the quarter. And West Virginia has the lead. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown. And it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Looking downfield, it's Green. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers. And the punishment has been extended. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way from And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time in this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive. Jack. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. So now they'll try to mitigate that disaster on second down from the 15. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat. And down he goes again. Well, the defense is not taking their foot off the gas. They've got a huge lead. We're early in the fourth quarter, and still they're getting pressure on this quarterback registering a sack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. And the Hokies will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. If you want to talk about a drive where you impose your will, that's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming, you know it's coming, and you can't stop. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. Off, keep working on that clock. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. On the move. Across the 25, he's got room. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. Really been impressed by the balance we've seen from this offense so far in the game, but I think you got to give a lot of the credit to the running game because it's been able to freeze these defenses, help set up play action. They've been physical at the point of attack. I think that really has been the key force for this offense so far, having the success they've had. Leaves it with the back. He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Back to throw. It's green. Quarterback now on the run. Still looking. Touchdown, West Virginia. And the stomping has commenced. Man, this 
has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense obviously just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. He'll bring it out. It's Tootin. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Getting some heat. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the... And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just, you could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another... And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The Hokies send out the punt unit. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. The give from the gun. Runs through the tackle. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. You know what's great about rivalry games? Each side hates every wretched person.